Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me for story time today. It's my favorite time of year. The sun is out, the flowers have bloomed, and it's Pride Month. Today, I brought with me a friend who is very proud of his colorful visage. This is Pridey the Peacock. <gasps> Look at those beautiful feathers. My first book today isn't about a peacock, but it is about a lot of birds. This is Mr. Watson's Chickens by Jarrett Dapier with pictures by Andrea Surumi. Mr. Watson lived with Mr. Nelson in a big honking house with a teeny tiny yard in a big honking city. And in that teeny tiny yard, he kept two dogs, three cats, and a handful of chickens. Mr. Watson loved his chickens and his chickens loved him. He started, like any sensible person, with three. And every morning, he and Mr. Nelson would count them. One, two, three. But soon, Mr. Watson's chicken collection grew and grew and grew. Before they knew it, Mr. Watson had 456 chickens. Their house was teeming with birds. Chickens in the sink, chickens on the bed, chickens in the bread box, chickens on their heads. There were even chickens in the bathtub. And the noise. Their house shook with it. Aunt Agnes made up her own song. Shooby doo, wonky pow, baka baka in the chow chow. She sang it all the time. Still, Mr. Nelson loved to cook eggs for Mr. Watson, so he was happy with this arrangement. Until he found four chickens in his brand new boots. Mr. Watson, these chickens are becoming a problem, cried Mr. Nelson. You're right, you're right, Mr. Watson said. He sat down to think of what to do. The next day, Mr. Nelson found feathers in his hair gel. Mr. Watson, cried Mr. Nelson, these chickens are a problem. You're right, you're right, Mr. Watson said. And he sat down to think of what to do. Late that night, Aunt Agnes let the other chickens in a full choral rendition of her favorite song, Shooby Doo, Wonky Pow, Baka Baka in the Chow Chow. It was too much. Mr. Watson, Mr. Nelson cried, these chickens are more than a problem. If you don't get rid of them, I'm moving to the coop out back alone. Mr. Watson loved his chickens, but he loved Mr. Nelson more. Without Mr. Nelson, his heart would be a broken egg. So the next day, the two men gathered up the chickens in cages, boxes, and crates. They loaded them onto wagons all tied together in a line, set off for the county fair to find the chicks a loving home. But just as they reached their destination, Mr. Watson tripped. All the chickens were gone. No, Mr. Watson wailed. How will we ever find them all? Now the whole city would be littered with chickens. Sure enough, whose chickens are these? The pickle slinger cried. 10 chickens bobbed in her tubs. That'll be me, said Mr. Watson with a one, two, three, as he moseyed over to collect up his chickens. Whose chickens are these? The cheesemonger cried. 20 chickens were feathers deep in their cheese. That'll be me, said Mr. Watson with a one, two, three, as he sidled over to collect up his chickens. Whose chickens are these? The nut hawker howled. 30 chickens waited in his bins. That'll be me, said Mr. Watson with a one, two, three, as he skulked over to collect up his chickens. At long last, Mr. Watson and Mr. Nelson collected every single chicken, all except one. Where was the final chicken? 
Do you see the final chicken? <gasps> Shooby doo, wonky pow, baka baka in the choo choo! The other chickens joined on Agnes. Shooby doo, wonky pow, baka baka in the choo choo! Just then, an official looking lady bellowed, quiet! Those chicks still up for adoption, bub? She asked. I'll take them all. All? Gasped Mr. Watson. All? I've been looking for a new act for the fair. A big honking chicken choir is just what I need. Done, cried Mr. Watson. That night, Mr. Watson and Mr. Nelson ate supper, and there were no chickens in their soup. They brushed their teeth, and there were no chickens in the sink. They got ready for bed, and there were no chickens in their pajamas. But Mr. Watson felt sad without his chickens, and Mr. Nelson did too. Now their house was an empty nest. Or was it? Crack, crack, crack. Shooby doo, wonky pow. Baka baka in the chow chow. It begins again. One, two, three. Ah, oh, I love that story. It shows us that families can be a little different all across the world. Let's see some more families. That's right, everybody. Love is what makes a family. And this book is by Sophie Beer. Love is waking up bright and early. Love is baking a special cake. Love is knowing where everything is. Love is finding the biggest puddles. Love is lending a helping hand. Love is watching from the front row. Love is playing on the weekend. Love is making things better again. Love is washing away the day. Love is reading one more book. Love is chasing away monsters. Love is a kiss before bed. Good night. Now everyone, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite friends, Julian. Julian has all kinds of books, and this one is called Julian at the Wedding by Jessica Love. This is Julian, and this is Marisol. Today they are going to be in a wedding. Those are the brides, and that's their dog, Gloria. A wedding is a party for love. Let's go, whispers Marisol. house, whispers Julian. Marisol? Oh. Uh-oh. Julian has an idea. I got dirty. Yes, Miha, but now you have wings. There you are. And then there was dancing. The end. 
everyone. One of the reasons June is my favorite month is that we get to have a great big colorful parade. This book will tell us all about pride parades and it's called This Day in June with words by Gail E. Pittman and pictures by Christina Litton. This day in June, parade starts soon. Rainbow arches, joyful marches. Motors roaring, spirits soaring. Voices chanting, doggies panting. Clad in leather, perfect weather. Artists painting, sisters sainting. Banners swaying, children playing. Dancers jumping, music pumping. Sidewalk shaking, tummies aching. Painted ladies, crying babies. Fancy dresses, flowing tresses. Loving kisses, so delicious. All invited, all excited. This day in June, we are all united. Thank you for reading those books with me, my friend. Pridey and I sure enjoyed celebrating Pride with you all. I hope you have a wonderful June and happy Pride from everyone here at JCLS.